Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. I hope you are having a great day. This is a collaboration with Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube and Stampin' Cat on Instagram. And it is called Bringing Back Basic Gray. Basic Gray made patterned paper with really detailed, complex, and maybe a little on the grungy side patterns before there was a ton of selection. I mean, this was back in the day when you didn't have all the choices that you have now. They stopped, they make fabric now. Those of us who still have basic gray in our stash, we get it out, we bring it back online, use some of it. The goal of this collaboration is not to use up everything we have. It's really just to enjoy it, maybe not hoard it forever. This month I did something a little different because I needed a baby card and I wanted it to be amazing. Then it's Easter and I hadn't gotten out my Easter stuff and made any progress. So I decided to make basic gray cards with other themes. Usually I just let the papers play up and use tons of stuff. So let me show you what I did. And this is a great example for those of you who don't have a lot in your stash. You don't have to have a matching collection to make a card. You don't have to go out and get embellishments and a six by six pad of paper. No, you can have a friend give you a couple sheets of 12 by 12 or a partial pad from a six by six and you can create. Okay, so let's take a look at what I made. The sources here are many, so I might not detail every item. Let's start, let's do the Easter ones first. So the two patterned papers, the green background that kind of looks like a meadow and this gorgeous periwinkle background floral, those are basic gray out of the Sugar Rush collection, which is it my favorite? It's definitely up there. It's definitely one of my favorites. This die cut background and the bunny were in my stash from Happy Mail. And so what I did was I needed an Easter themed card and I used this adorable petite background and then the die cut and the bunny and just put them all together. Did they come together? No. Do they work together? I say yes. What do you say? Hope your Easter is to die for. That stamp is from that recent giant tub of wood stamps. I don't know if a die pun is appropriate for Easter, but it's pretty cute. And the person I'm giving it to is funny. She'll think this one is funny. So I, I think that's okay. And I just love this bunny. A date with my craft room made me this bunny quite a while ago. Okay, so that is that one. And then this other one, I used a yellow die cut bunny that I had the Easter I already had and put it with this gorgeous floral, this a paper I absolutely love. And then to really keep this pop going, I just patterned it with a piece of long lost orange textured paper from my stash. I'm sure I have that color because it came in one of those multi-packs that needs to be used up but I just think it turned out pretty cute. I mean, that orange looks like I bought it to go with that. So those are my two Easter cards. And then this one is blank. And then, oh, I haven't put my stamp on the back, but I plan to. I had to make the bases because I was out. And then look at my baby card. There's a new baby in my life and his name is Gray. And I was trying to figure out, I have some baby stuff and I have this Echo Park baby pad and I looked through my basic gray but the one I had was pretty girly so what I did was I took a G these giant die cut letters or cut aparts pop outs whatever we call them came into my life in a tub the big <laughs> that video of the yellow and black tub these were in there so this is skate shop and it's basic gray and I cut out their name right here and so the the grunge look and the green and blue, pretty masculine, right? And I took that G and I popped it out and then I inked the edges a little. And I don't know if it shows on camera at all, but I was just trying to get it to pop and I used some random things. I used a little bit of tumbled glass, I used a darker blue, and then I used a bit of tea dye because there's brown in here and I just wanted it to pop. And then I took gray, chopped it out of the basic gray branding strip thing and put some holographic paper behind it. And this sheet is Echo Park and it says boy and it has little bibs and cute stuff. So that is for Gray. I'm super excited for him. 
So those are my three basic gray cards, and I hope you got inspiration too about how to mix and match. And you don't have to have a paper that goes with the theme, right? I made a baby card. Well, I mean, I did have this, but I just couldn't figure out my color palette, and those two went together and worked for me. But mix and match, have a great time, get stuff out of your stash, and don't be afraid of woodblock stamps. I know a lot of people learned on clear stamps, ink them up really well, practice on a separate piece of paper. My other trick with a woodblock stamp is before I make my whole card, before I glue this together, I've made my card base and I stamp on my base. Then if I have a problem, I could throw it out. You can also put a die cut right here. You could take, okay, pretend this is a light color and you could stamp on this and then put it right here. So if you messed up, you could still use this card base. There's all kinds of ways to use these without a stamp positioner or that kind of thing. Just ink them up, practice on a post-it, whatever, scratch piece of paper, because an old rubber stamp that's been sitting around, it needs a hot minute to get some ink on it. And if you are super excited for woodblock stamps and you want me to do some D stashes out of that giant box, you can leave me a message below. I, I still have a ton, but I can't take individual requests. It just, it got too hard for me. A medium flat rate box would be about $16. So if you're excited about woodblock stamps and you think I should put together a D stash video, let me know. That's Basic Gray. Be sure to check out Bourbon Creek Crafts uh, here on YouTube and our friend Stampin' Cat on Instagram. And if you don't know how to find either one of them, the descriptions are down below and see what they made. In this collab, it could be scrapbook pages, cards. It could be something 3D. It could be anything. It's just gonna use some Basic Gray. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.